Oh my gosh, guys. I'm with Chris Angel. And I'm with Trish. And, is- and, 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 and she is the shit. I lie. She is the shit. And, 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 and like... Oh, we're gonna funny. do something. We're gonna Are work we? on something. We're gonna work on something for my next show coming up. Oh my gosh. And I, I can't talk too much about it, but yeah. we're working on something that's gonna be crazy. Really? That's it. And I like your glasses. I love your glasses. No, I love your glasses. We are can everything. We yeah, can we switch? Let's, let's switch. Oh let's, my gosh. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah, and we don't want to see. I'm gonna, I don't want to ruin because they're really expensive. No, it's good. Right, Magic. There you go. Boom. Secret thing <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Follow us, follow us, Yeah, follow us, bye. What's up everyone? Today I have a story time for you guys. I don't think I've done a story time in like a minute. Um, I love story times because it's literally just like telling you something that's happening in my life or happened in my life. This is a story time that happened literally last week and I'm super, super excited to share this with you guys. So, um, so I think I'll probably put the clip at the beginning of this video so you've probably already seen it, but I got to meet Chris Angel last week. So I've actually met him before. When I was 17, I met him at a book signing here in Burbank, well, in LA, but it was in Burbank specifically. I had just moved to California. I had just finished high school. Um, I was living alone in Hollywood. Like, I was trying to just get out there any way I could. So like, if I saw someone that was doing like a book signing that I really liked or was a fan of, I was like, maybe if I just go and meet them, like something will happen or something like that. And I didn't do that with a lot of people, but it would be people that I felt like a connection to. So let me back it up a little bit. So. Chris Angel, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you know, he had this huge show called Mind Freak. Huge show. I would say I was like middle school, high school when it was like popping. And I'm from the Midwest, so we would watch this Mind Freak show and we were like blown away. He was like this cool, edgy magician, right? You think magicians, you think either like old, like in tuxedos, like, you know what I mean? Like, no shade or anything, but like David Copperfield, Lance Burton, they're very just like, I'm a, you know, old guy that does magic and I wear bow ties and like, you know what I mean? And they're usually pretty like, Ta-da! Never could dab And you know what I mean? Like, Chris Angel was edgy. Like, his magic involved, like, gore and, like, he was also, like, a sexy magician. Like, you know what I mean? He had, like, at the time, he had, like, this, like, long hair. And, like, he was just, like, really edgy. And, like, nobody was doing the stuff he was doing. And, um, just, you know, would put these crazy spins. And, like, his show was just amazing. Like, you know, everyone talks about the one where he's, like, walking on water, like, over a pool with, like, people underneath. You know what I mean? Like, he just did crazy stuff. He, like, levitated over the Luxor. Like, he would just do this crazy stuff. In fact, his, he, the character, if you guys remember that uh, movie, Burt Wonderstone. It was like with Steve Carell and Steve Buscemi and I think Jim Carrey, well Jim Carrey was like the magician, like this cool edge magician. It was kind of like a take on Chris Angel. So he was like iconic basically. Like he's like this guy, this new guy in magic and I just remember being a kid from the Midwest and being so blown away by him. I thought that was like everything because I've always, I've always loved magic. Like I think magic is so cool. Like, even when I go to the show and like if, I, if I, I've gone to his show now three times in Vegas, like his, the show at the Luxor, I've gone like three times and even like his show, like I just don't know how he does it. And like people, and even people who are skeptics, like I don't know how he does it. Like magic, as they say, is a, illusions, right? I mean, I, that's what they say, but I swear to goodness, I believe in magic. I swear there's like magic. I swear there is. Um, just kind of like how the universe connects and that's kind of like, the universe is magic. So that's kind of why I believe in magic. And anyways, okay, so I'm getting sidetracked. So it was a huge deal. And so, you know, we grew up like watching him. And then when I was out in LA, he had a very public relationship with this girl that I was always like a huge fan of and stuff like that. She, you know, was a celebrity in her own right. And they had this like really public relationship. And I always just found them like really interesting. And I just, I've just always found him interesting. I've always followed him in his career. So, you know, at 17, I went to his like book signing and he was so, so nice. To this day, I, I have like a list of like probably f- a hand, less than a handful of celebrities I could say are like actual nice, like amazingly nice to their fans. Um, not to say other ones like aren't nice, but some people just are kind of cold. You know, I get it. You meet a lot of fans and you, especially at a book signing, like you have to go through it and you know, you just can't be personal with anyone. He was very personable, even when I met him back then. Very, very, very sweet back then too. And I was just like, and this, it just always stuck with me. I just like always, I always like loved him. And then, it's so crazy. So, okay, so we're fast forwarding now a couple of years. Pam Anderson, she was a magician's assistant to this guy named Hans Klock, Cloak. And I remember it was like a huge deal. She would be on stage with him or whatever. And I was just like, I remember when this was happening and I'm on MySpace page and it's, it sucks that MySpace changed so much because I had a whole blog post dedicated to me being Chris Angel's magician, like m- magician's assistant. Like I wanted that so much. Like, you know, magician's assistants are super hot. He has a super hot assistant right now on the show. In fact, he's a magician. Usually they're magicians themselves. Like even in the Burt Wonderstone movie, like their assistant was a magician too, like an aspiring magician. You know what I mean? And the one at his show now, she's gorgeous. Her name's Chloe. She's like blonde and like everything I want to be. She's just like gorgeous to look at. Um, 
but but going back to the thing when Pam was the assistant I was like that's like my dream job like I and I, I had a blog post dedicated and it's it's not there it's myspace.com slash mrs underscore Tarantino was my thing and I would like you could uh, well wasn't it was it a tag I guess it was a tag like, I would post on his page like he was popping on myspace days and I was like a blog literally dedicated to being his assistant like I would tell him like I would like dress up I would do like my own like magic tricks that I like, could teach myself like you know what I'm saying? This is like the power of the universe. This is what I'm saying. So, do you see what I'm saying? Like, from like a little kid to meeting him at 17 to then now Pam Anderson, who's like, you guys know my like fucking idol, being a magician's assistant, and then me like making a blog post, being like, you know, comparing, like doing reference photos. Like, this could be me and you. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know what I mean? It sounds so creepy. And Chris, if you're watching this, I don't know if you are, but if you're watching this, I swear I'm not creepy. I'm not a stalker. But like, I'm like, I just, I just want to like let people know the depth of this situation that how much this meant to me because it was like so surreal it's still surreal it's happened a week ago and like I'm still like buzzing from it obviously hello Chris Angel Mike we gotta represent so now we're gonna fast forward to uh well, the first time I saw a show which was last year I saw it in April and it was like a really great show it was mind blowing I was with somebody that I didn't really it just wasn't a good situation so I remember he was like it was just like a bad situation. We watched the show, and I remember it was like such a such an ordeal. Like during the show, even like he's just he was just like not about the show. And like going to someone who's like not about something is like not fun. Going to a show with someone who like doesn't want to be there is like not fun. So I remember seeing the show, but being like so blown away by the show itself that I was like, I want to come back. So my mom and my sister, we went back to Vegas. I said, you guys, we have to see the Chris Angel show because we all watched it together. We all grew up in the Midwest. So it was me, my mom, my sister, my brother. My brother was already out of the house at the time because he's older than me. So it was me, my mom, and my sister, and we were obsessed with Chris, 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 Chris Angel. So we have to go see the show. And the cool thing about the Chris Angel show is he has on weekends, on Saturday, well, I think on a lot of nights. Well, I don't know if it's a lot, but he has a late show. So he has like 7 o'clock show and like a 9.30 p.m. show. And it's great because I love to see a lot of shows. So like I'll go see like a show at 4 o'clock, like a legend show. Then you can eat dinner and then you can go see a Chris Angel show. So it's kind of like you can cram a lot in, which is what we did this last time when I got to meet him. Anyways, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. So I went with my mom and my sister. We went, we did the, we did that exact itinerary. We did a legend show in the, at the Flamingo at four. We had dinner and then we saw Chris Angel. And um, oh my God, like you guys, like we were so pumped for it. You don't even know. We were getting merged before the show. Like we were so pumped. I was like tweeting at him like before the show because I just, I was like so excited. You know what I mean? Because now I'm with my girls and with people who are excited to see him too. Like I can enjoy the show and not like feel like, oh, this person next to me doesn't want to be here or we just have this fight or whatever like that. So I was so super stoked you guys we saw the show and like immediately just like mesmerized like oh my i remember my sister i don't want to like give anything away from the show actually but because like they're actually very it's a very strict like don't photograph don't tell which is it's kind of cool actually i like that because it's and i don't want to give anything away about the actual show because it's such a cool experience like it's just it's a cool experience like it's just it's as far as live shows go, like it's the best live show I've ever seen. And I've seen magic shows. I saw Siegfried and Roy where they performed. I've seen David Copperfield. Um, I've seen a ton. I love magic shows. I love, I love, love, love. And um, and of course you guys know I go to a ton of like live shows and concerts and stuff like that. And this this is it, like I'm not I'm not exaggerating in any way or dramatizing. This is the best live show. Like you're it's it's insane what happens in the show. It's like so crazy. Um so, 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 yeah, we go, and it's amazing, like, at the show, like I said, it just, like, blows you away in, like, every aspect, and so afterwards, we were just, like, pumped, we are like, Jack, like, oh my god, it's so great, we are looking, also, we were looking for meet and greets at that show, we were like, we want to meet him, like, you know, I don't know if he offers those, I don't think he offers that, those packages, because I don't, I don't think he does, um, so, because we would have been all about it, you know what I mean, we were so upset, it's like, tweeting about it like just so 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 excited and I tweeted my throwback photo of us when I was 17 and I was like oh my god Chris Angel like you're so amazing and he's like thanks for the support he's like next time you're here let's take another pic like super super sweet and I was like oh my god like you guys this was like such a big deal do you know what I'm saying like it's one of those things where it's like I always put it out in the universe but like it was one of those things where I'm just like it's it just doesn't seem like it's to me he's somebody on that level of just like untouchable like unattainable you know what I mean there's there's certain celebrities that are just like unattainable and it's so funny because the ones that I meant to like meet or work with like it, it kind of just happens and that's why I just believe in like the power of the universe letting this happen as they are but also like putting forth like at least energy like good energy and it's 100% true and I'm kind of going off a little bit of a tangent here but if you're putting out negativity like negativity is going to come back to you I am that person where I used to like dwell on heartbreak and negativity and things aren't going my way I'm not making enough money but once I start thinking like oh I'm getting work 
work is flowing, I'm making money, like I'm getting to entertain people, like I start focusing on positive, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving love, so I'm getting love back, like I swear to goodness, it is the power of the freaking universe, man, like it's crazy how it happens, I was like this too with Eminem, like Eminem was a huge deal in middle school, and I'm sorry I'm going off tangent again, but like in my head, I was always thinking I was going to be in a music video with Eminem, I'm like, I would watch like um, The Real Slim Shady, where they had like a Pamela Anderson lookalike, I would watch like uh, ass like that where Jenna Jameson was at the beginning like two porn star looking girls with him and I was like this is my calling like I'm gonna be in a music video like I would pretend to be in those music videos and I would pretend to do that the way I would pretend to be like on the blogs where I was like putting together like little like sims of us of like not sims but they were like Ugh. it's a whole thing it's like these little cartoons of us like being performing magic together. you know what I'm saying like even with my friend Superman, who was Hollywood Superman, we did like this levitation thing on my, in fact, I'll have to find that video clip. I'll link it below if I can find it or I'll put it in here somewhere where he like is levitating. So it's just like this whole power of the universe, like where you put something out there, like it's gonna happen. So I, I was tweeting like, oh my God, like at Chris Angel, like I loved your show, like I wanna be in it, like if one day we can work together, like just putting this out there, not thinking he's he's gonna reply, because he doesn't, I guess he replies to some people, but like, I wasn't, you guys, I was not expecting what happened last week. So, yeah, so he just said, basically, like, next time you're in Vegas, like, let me know. Like, we'll take a picture or something like that. And then I didn't really think anything of it because, um, I don't know. You just, you know, you think people are just being polite or whatever the case may be and, like, you know, whatever. So, and then we hadn't gone to Vegas in a while because actually the weekend we went there, unfortunately, the following day was the Vegas shootings. And so it just kind of... It, it, that was like, I hate to bring up a sad thing in this video, but like it was like so traumatizing to me because I've gone to Vegas like my whole life. Like my dad lived in LA and when I was kids he'd always bring us to Vegas to like Circus Circus and like go see the impersonator shows like Siegfried and Roy. Like you know, it, like Vegas is such a like a special place to me. That's my place I go where I just have complete fun and chaos. Like I love Vegas. Like I love it. Um, and so it broke my heart that happened there because it is a place where everyone goes to just get away. You know what I mean? It's, it's just it's just a fun, it's like adult Disneyland is what they say. And it, it just broke my heart that that happened. And it kind of kind of scared me, to be honest, um, to go back to Vegas. And I hadn't been back since. So fast forward, we planned this random, random weekend in Vegas. And you guys know I love going to Vegas when like Donnie Marie's in town. Donnie Marie wasn't even in town, so you know that's how random this was. You know what I mean? Like I was like, okay, so... We went, we saw Elton John Friday night, and I was like, I said, I'm like, and we got late there Friday, because he only had a show at 7, so I ended up being like, no, I'm like, we have to go Saturday, like, we have to go Saturday, I like, we have to, so we ended up being the tickets or whatever, and I just tweet him again, and I'm like, hey, like, you know what I mean, like, this has been months now, and I just tweet him again, and he's like, yes, yeah, yeah, let's, like, take a pic or whatever, and he's like, if you need tickets or whatever, and he was, like, really, really sweet, and we had already gotten the tickets and stuff, and I was just like, okay, well, this is where we're sitting, and it was so cool, you guys, like, oh, uh, he just got us, he, like, hooked us up with, like, crazy seats, I was, like, blown away, to be honest, like, I was, I was, like, so shocked at, like, how sweet and stuff he was, like, so, so, so sweet, um, so we sit through the show, we get, like, these, like, we get hooked up with, like, great, great seats, the show was even more amazing than I remembered, like, it was, it's so intense. The way he performs every night is so intense. Like, you guys, I can't stress enough. And I, 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 I talked about this. If you guys watch, I'm going to link below the vlog of when we saw Chris Angel because I gushed just like I did now without meeting him. You know what I mean? Without getting to know him on like a level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was gushing after the first time we saw the show. Not gushing in like a dirty way, like a sexual way. Like gushing just like, oh my God, this is amazing. And we just, there wasn't good enough things to say about the show. So again, this was like amazing. This time we, we had like a bomb seats and I'm like, this was, it was so cool to see like up close. And <sighs> the show was amazing. So then the show ends and we get to meet him and I was so excited. It was just uh, us two getting to meet him, which was like really, really cool. Uh, me and Jason. And this person's energy, you guys, this is what I'm telling you. Energies connect, okay? Energies connect. The universe makes things happen. You can see in the video, he posted a video on his Instagram page because I, okay, so, so th this is, this is the, this is how I found out it all happened, right? It all went down. So shout out to his niece, Demetra. I did a video for her. She tweeted the video. She tweeted at me publicly, so I'm sure it's fine that I say her name. She's gorgeous and stunning. I started following her back right away. He's like, he goes, you, you made me such a cool uncle because my niece, like, loves your videos. I was like, oh my god, what? First of all, can I just say, can I just say this for real? I'm being so sincere. Even when people just, like, randomly come up to me in public and be like, I love your videos, like, it's, it blows my mind because in my head, I'm, I swear to you, I don't care how many subscribers, views, whatever, how many videos, how long I've been on YouTube, whatever. I still feel, because I've never popped off. I'm not like a Logan Paul where I'm not like popping. You know what I mean? I've never popped off on YouTube. But I had a good little core, little people that like follow me and stuff like that. So even when people just randomly on the street say they watch my videos or whatever, I, I, I 
like get like I get nervous, I get excited, I get I get more excited about that. Like I'm one of those people who like when someone asks me for a picture, I'm like, oh my god, can you like be my vlog so people like can witness that people watch my videos? You know what I mean? Like I'm that person that gets excited. Eleven years I've been doing this, and I'm still so excited about it. So that just blew my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. And honestly, like I said, I, it's, it's you guys 100% that have driven my success in any way and have given me any sort of connections. Celebrity Big Brother, I got on that show because, like I've said this story before, but a girl who watches my videos who's like stunning and gorgeous, she, she had a friend that was an agent that got people on Celebrity Big Brother and she watched my videos and she goes, you need to get Trish on this show. That's the reason I got on Celebrity Big Brother last summer. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. It's cause it's like it's cause of this you guys literally you drive my success on YouTube that get me views that get other people to notice me and also you guys that like literally be like you get you need to you need to know this girl I w it blew my mind it blew my mind that I was like huh what he's like you made me a cool uncle I was like what 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 like I'm like because I swear to goodness my sister I. And we text so much I wish I could go back my my sister was like freaking out when he posted me on the thing because we're just like. We're that like obsessed, and I and I, I was like, oh my gosh. So, so yeah. So because of his niece, like saying like, oh my god, Trish is like so cool. Even when I tweeted that night, she's like, get ready to meet like the best YouTuber ever or something like that to like her uncle. And I was just like, oh, it was just such. It was I was just not expecting that at all. Because like I said, it's not like we chatted and talked. Because even when I was tweeting him and I had the picture of us when I was seventeen, I was like, oh my god, you know Chris Angel. And I would always say, I was like, not yet, not yet. I don't. You know what I mean? Because it's. It, it's all about like again power of words power of the universe I know I sound crazy but if you guys believe in this kind of stuff I do like I said my whole career my whole life has been power of the universe power of thinking even when I was like young I'd be like <sighs> you know I, I would just be like I'm gonna be an entertainer that's it there's no backup plan people are like what's your backup plan even my, my own parents would be like it's so hard to make it like they didn't have any connections like how are you gonna do this how are you gonna be an entertainer like that's really hard to make you need a backup plan I was like no I'm, go I'm gonna do this like I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do this so and I think at the end of the day, that's still what I am. Like, I thought I wanted to be a singer. Then I thought I wanted to be a dancer. Then I thought I wanted to be an actress. And, like, all this stuff. At the end of the day, I think I'm just, like, an entertainer. I just like to entertain. Am I the best singer? No. But can I put on a show? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, so YouTube really was, like, my dream job. Anyways, I digress once again. So, it made me super excited. So, he's like, can you do a video for her? I was like, oh, my God, absolutely. Then I did a video for his show. And then he did a video for me, which I would never have asked you guys. You guys have to know one thing. A lot of times I'll see like celebrities and I'm like, I don't really like care or whatever. But because this was like a thing for so long for me, I was getting, I was like completely starstruck. I was completely starstruck. Like I do this thing and I'm sure you can notice in the video where I just get like really excited <laughs> when I'm like really like nervous. I just get super excited. It's just a million miles an hour. I was so excited. I couldn't believe. And because like if you like if you knew the history, like my sister, my mom, like you know what I mean? Like I couldn't believe it. Like I just was like what is happening and the fact that he knew who like I was through his like niece like it was putting me like on this like weird like euphoric like different level like I was just like is this is this real life is this happening so even when we were doing the video like I had to watch it back so many times because I didn't even know what was happening I was so confused but I do remember even before the video and he shouted out in the video he's like he's like no no we should do something together we should do like a viral video or something and I'm like if you ever need an assistant like I'm there for you like even like a walk-on assistant like that's like my dream because you imagine you guys and he's like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and he's putting it out into the universe by saying that like we're gonna do something we're gonna work on something it's coming like him putting it out there it's like one thing for me to put out there but him so it's like it's like these two forces right I know this like sounds so crazy and you guys, I just want you to know, like, it's, it's just like, it's, whatever's meant to be is like gonna meant, is gonna be, is gonna be, is basically how it is. And to me, it was like such a thing, and it's like, it's kind of cool because he is so, um, like, edgy and like innovative. He always has been. He was, you know, God, when I was 15 years ago when he had a show or whatever, and he was, you know, he was ahead of his time. And so the fact that he wanted to kind of combine what I do, which is like social media, like viral videos, and that kind of platform, with what he does, I'm like, this is how ahead of his time he is. You know what I mean? Like, this is how, how into it he is. Because I've met, I've met people, I've met people that have had like managers purposely set us up, and it just doesn't click. Like, it just doesn't, like, because mainstream, I have hair. Sorry about that. Mainstream people like him or people who have great success like on their own, they kind of look down sometimes upon social media people. Even if it's set up by like their manager saying, hey, this is like a good move for you. Sometimes they look down and be like, mm, you do what? You make videos on the internet? Okay, I have a show at the lock store. You know what I mean? Like, so that's why it was so cool to, to have that dynamic and to him be, for him to be excited and stuff like that. I'm like, he's, it just, it, it just felt, it just felt cool. It just felt like a connection in a way. Like it's, it's not like, 
I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it. It just felt like this connection and this is like it was like meant to happen. You know what I mean? I don't know. I know I sound like crazy, but I get I got so in, I get so inspired when I see his show. I get inspired. That's why I love seeing live shows. I get so inspired by live shows in general. But seeing his show, I just was it just was like a different level. It just was like this is this is I and live okay. <clears throat> Here's the other thing. Sorry, this has like four shots of espresso in it. Live is where I thrive. <laughs> I did was actually that true. I wasn't like trying to rhyme that and be cool, but that was kind of cool. Like, you guys know, I just posted something about me being on Wicked on Broadway, putting it out to the universe, you know what I'm saying? I love live performances. Like, I love energy. I love sitting in live performances, but I also love performing. But like, even sitting in that room where it's just like this energy of people, and I love it. And that's like where, like I said, that's where like I thrive. And so, it's so funny because like it's just it's just it's something that I always wanted to do, but it's an, it's like, even when I was young and I wanted to be an entertainer. Like, you don't know how you're gonna make things happen. Like people are like, well, how are you gonna do this? You you don't know anyone. You don't have any connections. You don't know anyone in LA. Like how are you gonna make this happen? It just happens how it's supposed to be. So I thought this was crazy because this seemed like so far fetched. But here I am, face to face with Chris Angel. His energy is through the roof. Like I couldn't even tell you. Like. I was just pumped for days after. Like, still, it's a week later, and I'm still so pumped when I look back at that day. And you guys know, you guys know I met Jason Momoa, who was like my, I'm like, I was like obsessed. I am obsessed with him from like Game of Thrones and stuff like that. But even him, who I love, you know, where it wore off after like a week. I'm kind of like, okay, but this is just something where it's like cosmically universal, like it's meant to happen. You know what I mean? Like, just because the way it went about, it wasn't like I got a meet and greet with him. You know what I mean? Like where I'm like, you know. He just does it as like his duty. This was something that was like meant to happen. And then the fact that like, you know, it was like his family that connected. Like it just was like this thing. It just was like a thing. And then like, oh, it just was like so. It was just so so cool, you guys. And and I, I'm getting flustered even thinking about it. Like I said, I wish I could go in more detail about the show. But like, go see a show at the Luxor. It's so so amazing it'll like blow your mind even if you're not in magic like I've brought in people that are like not into even like magic or don't really even necessarily like get into it or whatever and they get they're like blow it's like it, it'll like blow your mind and on that note I want you guys to thumbs up this video if you think that I would be a good magician's assistant and if you guys want to see I think if this video got like to 100,000 likes or something like that I feel like it's gonna happen so can you guys put that onto the universe by thumbsing up this video and being like we want this to happen. We want Trish to be in some sort of a magic show, or even if it's just like a video with him. Like, I just want to like be a part of magic, and I think that's where it comes down to at the end. At the end of the day, I'm such a little kid. I'm somebody who, you guys know this if you watch my videos. I try to escape reality as much as I can. Um, my life now is 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 pretty good, but I've not to be a victim or anything. But like, you know, my life hasn't always been easy. To say the least, it's been a lot of uh, struggle, mental and physical, and just a lot of struggle for me. And um, so I like to escape reality. And you guys know I dress up in costumes a lot, and I try and be other people, and I uh, pretend things, and act things out, and I just I try and be, you know, a, just in a different. I try to be in my own Trish world because the real world is harsh for everyone, and not just for me. I don't want to be like, oh my god, I've had such a, like everyone has their struggles, and life is so hard. So to escape reality, that's why I've always just loved the idea of magic, and I love like even seeing live shows and seeing his live show in particular. It's it's just such it's like the biggest escape from reality I've ever felt, which I think is why the show is so wonderful to me, and I suggest to everyone because you just you're so taken out of the element of a real life and real world, and it's you're in this like magic, and I and I want to believe in magic so bad, and so when people are like it's an illusion, obviously there's obviously this, and they're trying to figure out the secrets. Um, you know, I, I think even, even, even so, I still believe in magic. I think it takes magic to make an audience feel the way he makes people feel. You know what I mean? And I, I think, I think magic exists. I think the way you can call it the universe, you can call it God, you can call it prayer. I think unexplainable things happen all the time. I think miracles are always happening. I think magic comes in many forms, and I just, I, I love the feeling it gives people, and like it just, it was amazing, and it just, it's such a good show, and I hope you guys see it. Um, it's, he's he's amazing. He his story is amazing. Like it's it's just, it's amazing. So thumbs up this video if you want to support the 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 Trish Chris Angel collaboration. Because <laughs> um, if that happens, you guys, oh my god, I, I couldn't even think of something comparable to that that would be as exciting for me. I I I I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I could I can't. I can't even think of something as comparable, except maybe being like on Broadway, like on Wicked or something like that. 
But to get to perform like with like someone that's like it, that's like legendary. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't even think of someone else that I'm like it would it would be a fit that it would work. I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you. Um and it just, it just like, it honestly, like, I, I, I cried that night. I'm not going to lie. I, like, was crying about it because I was just like, this is crazy. I, like, prayed to God. I was just like, like, thank you. If nothing else, if nothing even came from it, the inspiration behind it and this, like, this, like, re, the inspiration was other, the motivation to keep my channel going and to keep doing what I'm doing because, one, it's, it's, people are like liking what I do, which is cool. It's it's getting out there. People people know what I'm doing and appreciate what I'm doing and think it's cool what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm glad that people appreciate and love it and that I'm entertaining people somehow and I don't know entertaining people. That's all I want to do. So whether I don't know what the case, what I'm doing, but I'm glad it's like entertaining people because I always want to do. But two, just like the fact that I'm getting, you know, like I've always said this about YouTube and it's why I'll never ever stop with all the YouTube changes that are going on. It's cool the opportunities it has brought me like never in a million years did I think because I did meet Chris Angel like I said at a book signing you could go meet people at book signings it's relatively simple never did I think back then that I was gonna have this conversation with him being like we need to work on something together I just how would this have ever happened unless it's like the universe you know what I'm saying it's all there's something set in motion by it and I think like I said whatever I'm meant to be even to I'm like I know you guys are probably like what the heck I'm like all Chris Angel out like, I love all his, like, merch, all his stuff. He's just, it's just such, it's just so cool. So, anyways, Chris Angel, if you're watching, you made this, like, dream come true for me just even doing that video with me, just that little clip right there. That was, it, we switched sunglasses, like, it, and giving me your energy. That's the other thing that's, like, such a big deal to me. I know, especially when you're a performer on that level, like, giving energy to people, like, you have, you have, to, you have to preserve that energy because you're sharing it with people on stage, so... Any energy you have left, you want to preserve it and share it with only like really special people. I feel the same way. I don't like to just give my energy to anyone. When people come up to me and watch my videos, I love giving my energy to them. But I, I'm very like recluse and I'm very like protective on who I give the energy to. So the fact that he did this amazing show, gave this energy to me, it, it meant the world. Like his energy was is is precious. You know what I mean? It meant the world. So I I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Demetra, I thank you for making me seem cool enough to get to meet your uncle. That was so cool, and I hope to get to meet you one day. Um, hopefully, I'll get to go back and see the show soon. Um, and who knows? Maybe I'll get to be in a show one day. Maybe I can be like a walk-on role or something like that. That would be so cool, and you guys would have to come see it. Uh, I just, I, I just, you know, it just gives me hope, and it gives me, it gives me inspiration. And one day, I will be on a stage soon where you guys can see me. That's like my biggest dream right there is like one day where I can be like have like on a show somewhere and be like come see me let's give hugs let's you know let's share energy in person because I'm telling you there's something about in-person energy that is so different than a tv screen a youtube screen when I meet people when I meet you guys it's such a different connection like I love talking to you guys online but meeting people in like real life it's such a it's such an exchange it's such a powerful thing um sorry I'm like going on this tangent but I wanted to do a little story time behind it all because the photos and videos were so, my sister, oh my God, my sister was freaking out. She's like, OMG, 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 I wanna go back. Cause I said, I'm like, cause he said to, he's like, come back anytime, like let me know. And my sister's like, we have to go back. She wanted to go back this weekend. I was like, okay, well let me not be this crazy person. That's like, hey, I'm here every weekend to see you. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, he he's amazing. So. Thanks again, and thank you guys for listening to this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Like I said, thumbs up this video if you want to help put it out to the universe. And you guys already do by watching this video. You guys, I can't thank you enough. I have to just sincerely thank you again for watching this. For anyone who watches this, you know, even when they talked about me on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills a few weeks ago, Lisa Rinna's daughters were talking about me to Lisa and Erica Jane. Like, you guys don't even know what that brought me. Like, you know, Inu started calling me, and like all these people started calling me from that, and it was like, it's such a cool thing, and it's just, they're just talking about me eating on camera. You know what I mean? It's such a, it's such a you-driven thing, and it's it's really, really cool. And I, like I said, I just want to entertain. I'm for, like, I'm, I'm just grateful that you guys watch, and then I can do this as like my career. Like, I'm, that's like the most thankful thing. Second thing is like being able to entertain people and make people happy and smile, and like people, you know what I mean? And then the third thing, it's its not least at all, but it's just getting these opportunities, which I never thought I would be able to get, because again, I'm, and I'm not, I'm still not very connected. You know, I think some people think that, they're like, oh my gosh, you have like all this stuff, like everything I get, I get either from myself, from people contacting me, or like, 
you guys. I don't really have like management. I've had management before or I have management come in when like, like I said, like when that one girl that watches my videos, she's great by the way. I don't know if I should say her name or not, but girl, I love you, you know. Um, like she knew a manager friend that got me onto the show. You know what I mean? But it's always, it's always because of you guys and something you guys do. So I just, I think you guys like, Sincerely, like it's 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 such a it's such a, I'm very humble. Trust me, because I I can't do, I couldn't do this on my own. I've never been able to do this on my own, and people don't believe in me the way you guys believe in me. Like managers, agents, like I think they don't know what to do with me, and I and I get it. I get it. I'm kind of I'm not really I don't have a brand. I'm kind of just all over the place. You know, sometimes I'm like really wholesome, and sometimes I'm talking about sex toys. So I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place. So thank you guys for believing in me and being enough to be like this girl is great, and you should check her out. And I don't know what I did to deserve you guys, but thank you. I'm sorry I'm long-winded. I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in a minute, but um, yeah. Anyways, if you guys are in Vegas, check out Chris Angel. Check him out on social media. Go leave some love, and I'll see you guys in my next video, and until next time, here are my kisses. My little baby shoes. Bye, guys.